Here in southeast Queensland, we live in a climate of extremes. It can be hot and dry one day, then rain and hail the next. After heavy rainfall, we often have to close our lakes to recreation. You may think a good soaking would make the water in our lakes fresh and clean, but in fact, it's the opposite. When it rains, some of the rainwater soaks into the ground, and part of it flows over the ground and directly into creeks, rivers and lakes. This water that runs off into the waterways is called runoff, or sometimes stormwater runoff. As water flows over the ground, it picks up everything in its path, such as sediment, oil, litter, animal poo and chemicals, taking it to rivers and lakes. As a result, the stormwater runoff can contain pollutants such as pathogens, like bacteria and viruses, as well as microscopic organisms called protozoans that can cause diseases in humans. This can temporarily make the raw water in our lakes unsafe for swimming, especially if you put your head under the water, swallow the water, or even inhale water particles. Any contact with the bacteria or other pollutants can make you very sick with vomiting, diarrhea, skin irritations, or ear and eye infections. Since you cannot see the pollutants, it is difficult to know if they are in the water unless the water is tested. For this reason, as a safety measure, we often close our lakes to recreation after heavy rainfall. SEQ Water's water quality team takes samples of the raw water and test it in a laboratory to find out how many bacteria are in the water. If the indicated bacteria levels of the samples are above a certain level, we keep the lake closed to primary recreation like swimming and water skiing until tests indicate the water is safe again for people to enjoy those water-based activities. Fortunately, this type of contamination usually doesn't last too long as the pathogens are unable to survive the conditions of these aquatic environments and eventually die out or sink to the bottom of the lake. Of course, the rain can cause other safety risks too, such as debris and other hazards being washed into the lake as well as the flow of water over the spillway. Our temporary closures of lakes are based on our knowledge of the catchment, previous closures and the risk to people recreating in the lake. So when we say our lakes are closed for water quality issues, we really mean it. Stay safe by keeping out of the water until we reopen the lake. When pollution is detected or suspected in a water body, information will be posted on the SEQ Water website, the SEQ Water app, as well as signage to alert the public.